what a privilege just to think of the magnificence of the work that's been done, beautifying, renewing, renovating this temple. After several years of renovation, the Washington DC temple has reopened. Now, devout members are once again able to participate in the highest sacraments of the faith through worshiping in the temple. I'm so grateful for all those who made it possible. In the first of three sessions on August 14th, 2022, the temple was rededicated by church president, Russell M. Nelson, while his counselors, President Dallin A. Chokes and President Henry B. Eyring participated in the other two sessions. They were accompanied by Apostles Quentin L. Cook, D. Todd Christofferson, Garrett W. Gong, and their spouses, and other general authorities and leaders of the church. When you look at a temple, you should realize that it is a symbol of Jesus Christ, as he is our mediator with the Father. Only by him and through him can we reach our Heavenly Father. And it is also a sign of our faith in life after death. And each temple stands as a sacred step to eternal life for us and our families. Around 5,000 people filled the temple with thousands more participating in meeting houses throughout the temple district. Each felt the blessings of being part of the rededicated temple one by one. My great grandfather, President Spencer W. Kimball dedicated this temple in 1974. And it's always special to remember the connection I have with my family, with, with my ancestors. In 1974, I attended the original dedication of the temple and happy to be back these many years later with my wife and my son for the rededication of the temple. When you come to the temple grounds, you can just feel it in the air that this place is special a special place. When I walked into the temple doors, I had this feeling that I can't explain that I was overwhelmed with Heavenly Fathers and this beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Times are difficult and people are looking for hope. They're looking for a light. And so coming here reminds you of who you are and strengthens your resolve and helps brighten your light so that you can go be a light to others. It's also a place of peace where when we come, we can leave the world for the moment and just contemplate and pray to our Heavenly Father and receive revelation. That is amazing to me, being able to come and open my heart and talk directly to my Heavenly Father. This is the place, you know, and you can feel it. So I'm excited to be able to worship again and to serve in the temple. Uh, and so it's a glorious weekend. So much of what happens in the temple is symbolic, but there is one thing that is absolutely literal, and it's written on the outside of every single temple, House of the Lord. This truly is Jesus Christ's house. We had something like 347,000 people walk through this temple when they had the open house. They felt peace and they recognize that the Savior and His gospel brings peace. And I think that will spread out among all of the people. It's not the location. It's not the architecture. It's the ordinances inside. So I look upon the temple, each temple, a temple, as a symbol of Jesus Christ 